Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Today we're going to make Noble Grapes, own brand, Brew Centers, Blonde Lager. And to be different, you saw in my other video where I used the Canada that had the glucose, dark malt extract, and the Noble Hops. They am going to actually use the, the high malt liquid glucose just to be different. You can't always put dextrose in your beer. Although it does come out good, you know, you can't always do it. So in true to tradition, if you're making beer, you got to be drinking beer. Uh, this is my ginger pale ale, and I'll put a link right here, or maybe here, over here, not right here. We'll put the link right here. Uh, the ginger pale ale, it's great. It's a uh, light gingery taste. It actually adds a, a crispness to this uh, pale ale, but uh, you can see the review. Um, Jake and Dar on his channel, I'll uh, put a link to his video here. Uh, he did a review on it as well. Oh my goodness, this is good. And uh, Maniac, I wore this shirt just for you, buddy. Uh, you know, born to fish, but forced to work. And how many of us fishermen can say that? We we're definitely forced to work when we'd rather be out fishing. So, I'm going to get these goodies in the hot water. We'll get them all liquefied and uh, let's make some beer. All right, have another sip. Let's get the show on the road. Now, my daughter's helping out as camera person today. So, Trying this as an experiment, and uh, I quickly viewed a little bit of the video. All right, so we've got everything all liquefied. Oh, look at that nice runny, yummy wort. Well, actually, it's just extract right now. It will be wort. Okay, I got some hot water boiling over here. So we'll give this a good stir, get that mixed in before we put in our high malt liquid glucose. And of course this isn't going to be very dark compared to other beers because it is a blonde. And I think that's why my daughter picked it out when we were in Noble Grape this afternoon because she's a blonde. Now I've had the Cooper's uh, blonde and I really liked it. It was a really nice light beer for summer. So I thought I would try the Noble Grapes version of their blonde lager. Pour all that sweet goodness in there. scoop out as much as I can. That'll make it easier when I pour the hot water in to uh, liquefy what's left so we get all of it. Alright, now for some hot water. This time I'll try not to spill it everywhere on my wife's counter and floor. And when you're doing this, remember, you just boil water. It's 100 degrees Celsius. Very hot on the mitts. And that's the only thing I don't like about these containers that Noble Grape uses. It's very soft plastic and uh, it bends very, very easily when it's hot. Uh, a little bit more water. Spoon. We'll give it a little stir around in the, in the container. Try and get as much of this as we can. And as you can see, I already pre-filled my bucket with just about the water that I need. Oh lordy, that's hot on the fingers. But, it's clean. Alright, so now we'll give her a good stir, make sure everything's all mixed up good. Look 
looking at the angle of the camera. I'm not sure if I'm all in it or not. Camera person, can you see me? I'm getting a head nod. Yes, you can see me. I have to trust her because I can't retake this because I can't put the extract out of the water back in the containers. As perfect as that would be. Make sure you get lots of bubbles going on the top. As you heard me say in other videos, you got to get lots of oxygen in there. Some guys use little uh, aquarium pumps with the oxygen stone. They stick it in there, let it run, get lots of oxygen in there for the for the yeast. I'm not that fancy schmancy. I've always had really good luck on really getting this stirred up and nice and foamy on the top. All right, perfect. Now let it settle down. See exactly where it is and. That was an awesome guess because I don't have to add any more water to it. So I made sure the water was all lukewarm. The bucket's not hot at all. Um, it's kind of, you know, slightly warm, but not cold. And it wouldn't hurt if it was cold anyways. It would just take longer for your yeast to activate if it was cold. You definitely don't want it too hot because then it'll kill your yeast. So take our packet of coopers and I'm looking for a small knife and we'll cut the package open and we'll dump it in make sure it's all there and I think I'll give it a stir this time just for the fun of it as you know, I usually don't stir my yeast in, but it's all about being different and experimenting. So, that's it. It's literally this fast other than your prep time. You know, washing everything, sanitizing everything. And uh, waiting for your malt extract to warm up. Alright, lid's on, it's not coming off. Take my sanitized bung, my airlock is actually downstairs. So, put that in there, I'm gonna carry it down. Seven days, this will be ready to bottle. So, you're brewing beer, you get a drink beer, and uh, keep your glasses full and your bottoms up. Great stuff. See ya.